Hello everyone, my name is Mad Wolf, and welcome to the test. Uh, basically, the game title says enough. It is a test, I believe. It's gonna ask me a series of questions to discover the hidden parts of my psyche and probably fuck with my brain a lot. It seemed really interesting, but I know nothing about it, so let's get into it and find out. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them most honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if it's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself? Your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? I, I'm a pretty honest guy, I'd like to think. I think I will have no problem answering your questions, even if they may fuck with me. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as, as, long as the answers you provide to the questions I asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Sounds interesting. Sounds like a whole lot of bullshit, but I'm, I'm intrigued, that's for sure. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work, unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting, to bleh, while attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, I have several bottles of water. I recycle them, don't worry. I recycled the bottles, don't judge me. And of course, got my cup of coffee, so I'm good on that. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin a series of questions, and provided that you're willing to participate, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. I, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. This is gonna be cool. Would you be all right with living alone forever? Honestly, no. No. Not not me. I, I don't like a lot of people in, you know, in my space, but, you know, special somebody. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Yeah, blue is way better. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? If I knew who it was, yes. If not, I would pocket that shit. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Yes. Are you afraid of spiders? Sometimes. I will say yes because uh, I, I think I did this in a Who Would You Rather video uh, the other day. Flora spiders, no thank you. So I will say yes. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? If I knew for a fact, because I'm stupid and I want to see if my body can take it, fuck yes. Would you consider yourself to be fat? Yes. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? No. Don't know why the fuck people even watch me. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. This is all very interesting. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions will when put together spell the name Satan, I did not, because I don't pay attention to shit like that. I'm kind of oblivious. Oblivious is my middle name. Does that make you uncomfortable? Not at all. Not at all. 
Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Nope. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering the questions dis questions dishonestly? Well, I mean, you're a video game. I doubt you're going to do anything. But this is very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Brain. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. Work with me. Ominous. There we go. Um, I'd say no. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? Well, are you talking about in real life or in the game? Yes? Yes. Yes, because like I figured if the game figured out I was lying, I would probably die or something. So I'll say yes. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? No, not really. Would you consider yourself captivated? Absolutely. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Fuck that! Fuck that! Uh, run! Oh bitch, run! Fuck it! Run! Fuck it! Run! Okay, some of my closest friends might say I'm a cowardly bitch. I say I'm a cowardly bitch, but I am all for... Yeah, I would consider myself brave because I am all for, you know, conquering my fears. Like, I know I just said that I wouldn't jump, wouldn't, like, you know, stand in a, a floor made of spiders. Would I consider myself brave? Yeah, yeah, no, no, F fuck you, game. Don't judge me. I, I'm brave. I'm a brave boy. I, I will, I will conquer all my fears. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intellect? <laughs> I can't even fucking read. No, no, most definitely not. Have you been looking for hidden messages, me messages, <laughs> in these questions? Nope. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? I am now. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? I was wondering that before I even started recording this video. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Hmm, depends. It, it depends, because I, I can be patient, uh, but I do get pissed off at just little things like for example, uh, anytime I'm playing a video game with friends and stuff and I have to create accounts or... Yeah, I would say no, because if I have to create an account to play a game or I'm sitting in a menu or a loading screen's long, I get pissed. It's it's little things that piss me off. Uh, bigger things I, for some reason, can be a little bit more patient with, but just tiny, minute things, they piss me off for some reason like nothing else, so no. Do most humans annoy me? Depends. I would say, well, I don't, I don't know, because yeah, I'm, I'm definitely introverted. Um, I wouldn't say most people annoy me. Maybe drain me. I wouldn't say annoy. People do annoy me, but I would say most people, no. Most people are fine. Uh, do I prefer animals to people? I wouldn't say I prefer them. I, I would say they're on the same level. Like it, it, it just depends on the day and what I'm doing. In general. Uh, the company of animals is less exhausting than the company of people. There are exceptions. I have very close friends, but like I am, generally speaking, when you're looking at the general population of all animals and all people, like all huskies versus all people, I'm going to side with the huskies and say, yeah, that's a lot less mentally taxing on me than spending time with a bunch of people. I don't know if that's the question it was asking, but that's the way I interpreted it. Do I believe in magic? Do I? I think no, but there's a lot about the universe that we do not understand and may never understand. I'm open-minded to, you know, mystical, spiritual shit, but I'm not like, you know, one way or the other about it. Do you believe in God or the, oh, hey, <laughs> or the existence of some sort of higher power? Again, I'm not really one way or the other about it, but I, I, I tend to lean towards th there might be, but I don't know, so I'll say yes. Do I fear death? Sometimes, but uh, I, I, I think I've, I, I've accepted death, like, 
a long time ago. Occasionally, I get, you know, I start to, like, I do fear it from time to time. But in general, generally speaking, most of the time, 99% of the time, I really... No. Are you attracted to someone whom you're currently not in a rela relationship with? Yes. 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 I think most people have those kinds of people. Like, you could find somebody attractive and not be in a relationship with them, but yeah. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Yes. Are you alone? Always. Are you sure? I mean, you guys are here. Um. Yes. If I told you with the utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? No. You're a video game character. Have you wondered who I am? Yeah. Yeah. I am curious. Have you had shivers at any point during the session? Nope. Do you feel like you're being watched? Yep. Have you considered quitting this session early? No. No. Do you drink water every day? Hell yes, gotta stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, it's very important. Do you eat at least once per day, every day? Every day? No. No, there are days where I don't eat. Do you realize that you've missed seven hidden messages thus far? Nope. Do you realize that you've just missed another one? Nope. Are you wondering what they were? Yes. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? Nah, nah, I think I'd be fine. Is your favorite number seven? No. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? That's some poetic shit right there, damn. <laughs> yes. Oranges cannot be compared to apples, do you agree? I mean, they're both fruit. That right there is a comparison. So, no. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? I, th I think I... Cool, see, I think I've heard that. That sounds familiar. Yes. I'll, I'll say yes. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Everyone, huh? Depends on what they did. Did they murder people? Did they kill? Well, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I would say yes. Uh, I believe in rehabilitation. I think people can change. Everybody deserves a second chance. If they are willing to change. And they actually do change. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Yeah. I, I No, I, I, I do agree. I agree. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds both scary and fun. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? Aw, thanks. You're so sweet. But no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize your cryptic bullshit. Do you wish to be loved? I think we all do. Do you have any addictions? Yes. Do you dislike the color pink? No, I, I really like pink. Does the color gray seem depressing? I mean, green can look gray to me. I'm colorblind. Um, a lot of colors can look gray to me. So, I don't know. It's just how I see things sometimes. But like, I do associate gray with, yeah, more depressing. Yeah, sure. Do you enjoy loud music? Uh, I don't like my music loud. I don't like turning it up super loud. I, it, it, I, I would say no, but I also like listening to music with screaming in it. So are we talking the, the actual volume or the way the music? I will say we'll go with not the volume. I'm overthinking shit. That's what I do best. Loud music, like heavy metal and rock and stuff. So I will say yes, I do. Do you like to dance? Hell yeah. Can I dance? No. Do you consider yourself normal? No. <laughs> Do you love your parents? Yeah. Yeah, I love my parents. Have you ever been lied to? All the time. Do you get angry often? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I get frustrated uh, by little things, as I mentioned, and it leads to anger. Um, 
and I try to work on that. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I get angry. I wouldn't say I hold grudges, no. Do I hold grudges? No. Because I'm willing to give people, you know, another chance. Have I ever forgiven someone? Yeah. Have I ever lied? Yes. Yes, I have. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Depends on the flower, depends on the tree, but generally speaking, because flowers are so damn colorful, I will have to say yes. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person every fucking day of my life? Do you believe you have psychic powers? Assuming psychic shit is real, um, I would say yeah. Have you ever seen a ghost? I... yeah... I... I... I've seen some strange shit in my time. I can't say for sure whether or not, you know, like, my... Whether or not, you know, it was just shadows or whatever, but I've seen some strange shit, so I will say yes. What I believe to be ghosts. Do you dream often? I used to not dream at all. Uh, all throughout my childhood, most, most of my childhood I didn't dream. But over the past few years I've started dreaming. So, um, yes? Do I have nightmares? All the time. Do I suffer from anxiety attacks? Yeah. Do I suffer from depression? Yeah. Do you exercise often and stay active? Yes, I do. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being attacked right now? Yes, yes I do. I do. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes, yes. You ever feel lost in life? Yes, yes. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No. I wouldn't consider myself a natural leader. I think that I could be a leader. I think anybody could be. But it's not something I'm... It's not something I was just born with, you know? Anytime I've been in a leader position, it's just a lot of learning and trial and error. So I would say I'm not a natural leader, no. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? No? Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Yes. Yes. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Have you ever bullied someone else? I'd like to say no, but honestly, looking back, yeah, I would... In my head, it was like all good fun, but as I've gotten older, I've looked back and realized, wow, I was such a fucking, fucking asshole to, you know, that person. Like, I, I considered that person to be a friend, but I don't know if they considered me to be a friend because of how I treated them. So I will go ahead and say, I, yes, I have. Would I consider myself to be a dreamer? Yes. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? I made... <laughs> I made a coworker cry once because of stuff I said, because of how, not on purpose, not on purpose at all. I did not mean to make them cry. I was just being, I'm a very different person at work. I am very pessimistic and sarcastic and just uh, sassy and bitter. And I was just joking around, but I made a coworker cry. So, um, by doing that. So yes, I 100% I have hurt somebody's feelings unintentionally. Do I find space fascinating? Yes, I would love to go to space. Would I consider myself to be an artist? That is tricky. Uh, I don't like calling myself an artist, um, because I don't feel good enough, but lately I have been trying to get it into my brain that I am a creative person, I am an artist, you know? More than just with YouTube and stuff, but outside of YouTube as well, like, I need to accept the fact that I am a creative person, I write, I draw, I, I am an artist, even if I feel I'm not as good as I could be. So I'm just going to say yes, I'm overanalyzing way too much. Would I consider myself to be a good friend? I want to say yes, but honestly, no. Would I consider myself to be flawed? Yes. Do I believe in perfection? Honestly, no. I think, I think we can Im all improve ourselves you know, every day and get better. 
but there is no such thing as perfection. And, and perfection is, so, I, even as a kid, I, I've always thought perfection is just such a an opinionated word, you know, it's an opinion. What's perfect to one person isn't perfect to another. It's stupid. Just, no, perfection isn't real. Have you ever stolen from someone? Yes. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Yes. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? If I knew I had one day to live, would I tell anyone? Would I? I think I would. I would tell somebody. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? Yes. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? I mean, you're a video game character. Um, you got a very trusting face and I like your hat, so I will say yes. Do you know who I am? No. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? I would scream like a little bitch. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? I mean, you're kind of telling me that right now, and I'm not really scared. The idea is scary, but I'm not scared, so no. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? I have my moments. I do. Would I consider? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of a fucking dork. Uh, it depends, I guess. What? Okay, I gotta be real with myself. Okay, gotta be real with you. I do romantic things. Would I consider myself to be romantic? I'd like to, but at the end of the day, I'm a big fucking dingus. Uh, so I'm gonna say no. Have I ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Am I prone to headaches or migraines? No, I wouldn't say. Do you look at the ground when you walk? All the time. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Would you ever shave your head? Depends. Yes, I, I would say yes. Not, okay. If I shaved my head in support of something like, you know, cancer or uh, donating my hair or whatever, um, whatever. Yeah, there, there are so many reasons as to why I would shave my head. Is it the first thing I would do? No, no, I don't plan on shaving my head ever, but I wouldn't say that I would never do it for any reason at all. So I would say, would I ever shave my head? For the right reason, for the right cause, for enough money maybe? Sure. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Yes. Do you ever dance when no one's <laughs> looking? Are you watching me? I dance all the time in the privacy of my own apartment. Do you trust your best friend entirely? I don't trust anybody. Sorry. Do you remember your childhood extremely, extremely well? Uh, I remember key moments. I remember big moments. I don't, I wouldn't say extremely well, no. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? If nobody got hurt and if I could get away with it, yes. Yeah, give me the money. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yeah. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Yes. Do you ever dream about being naked in public all the time? Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yes, I, I love a good scary movie. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes. Do you like being the center of attention? I am a YouTuber, but at the same time, any time a video of mine does really well, I actually get anxiety because so many people are watching and I sometimes am like, I should delete my channel. So I would say, no, I don't really like being the center of attention. Do you feel like someone is always watching you all the time? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Yes. Have you ever had an out of body experience? I have not. No. Have you ever punched a nun? That is a very specific question. Um, no. Do you like dogs better than cats? I, I like them equally, so I'm gonna say no. 
Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? No. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you've ever punched a nun? Yes! <laughs> Do you get starstruck easily? I've never really met anybody who's famous, so I would say n n I don't know, and therefore no. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Big parties and social gatherings. I hate it at first, but if it's good, because I've had good experiences, it I'll adjust. But overall, yes, I would say. Yeah. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? Yes, because presents are nice. Seriously, though, have you ever considered punching a nun? Like, really, just bam, right in the face, nun punch. Um, I mean, why would I do that? Like, no, it, <laughs> the way you make it sound is hilarious, but seriously, no, I've never considered it. Did I laugh? Yes, I did. Did you just say, what the fuck, in your own head, or even out loud? Did I? I don't know. I didn't say what the fuck. I laughed. No. No. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? In real life, no. I don't want to hurt people. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Oh yeah, for sure. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yeah. Do you masturbate frequently? That's, that's a bit of a, that's, that's a bit of a personal question, but I would say no. I wouldn't, are you wondering what constitutes frequently? Actually, yes. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? Yeah, yes, that is a very personal question. Is your mouth dry? Yeah, though it's from the coffee. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? Wait, profa- oh shit. I, I, I rushed through that one. Didn't even think about it. Never mind. I was wrong. Can I go back? What? Oh shit, I tried going back and I accidentally- I didn't even read that one. No! Oh, I fucked it up so hard. Oh fuck. Okay. Am I poor with money management? Um, I'd like to say no, but, uh, I... Yes, I'm a young adult who's an idiot and sometimes just buys shit for no reason. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Yes. Do you speak more than one language fluently? No. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? No. Do you enjoy coffee? Bitch. You know me so well. Do you believe in demons? Yes. As much as I believe in God, do I believe in angels as much as I believe in God? Am I afraid of sharks? Okay! Now we're getting, now we're getting into the nitty gritty. This is the real question. Am I afraid of sharks? Fuck you, bitch! Get the fuck out of here! I will fight you! Come on. I'm quite clearly afraid of sharks. In video games, yes. In real life, I don't know. I've never seen a shark in real life, but I'd like to because I think they're cool. It's just being in the water with them as they're swimming around you, that's fucking scary. So I will say yes. Do you prefer baths over showers? No, I always take a shower. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? I, it's, it doesn't give me headaches, but I can't fucking breathe. So there's that. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few minutes ago? Nope. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? All the time, actually. It's because I'm a narcissist, I feel. Do things in your home often go missing then reappear later? I mean, I was just looking for my fucking hair dryer earlier after I took my shower, and I can't fucking find it anywhere, but I'm sure it'll just magically appear out of nowhere. How did you know that? That is interesting. Okay, yes. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? Yes. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yes. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Yes, actually. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? Mm -mm. I'll, I will say yes, because I've lived 24 years. I'm sure at one point I've felt that. Do you have any pets? No, my cat just died. Thank you for bringing that up. 
Is your favorite color green? Nope. Are you attracted to a family member? No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? I would say yes. Yes. If you could be one dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison all the time? Do I like fishing? I love fishing in video games. I haven't gone fishing in real life in a long time, but I, if it's with the right people, then yes. Do I like hunting? No. Do I like camping? Yes. Do I like guns? Ooh, this is a this is a complicated question, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm feel like a feel. Can we go back to the masturbation question, please? We are not talking politics. We are not talking politics. We are not talking politics. I like shooting guns. I think it's fun with the right people. I like doing anything with the right people. Except murder. Although if it's with the right person, then murder too. Yeah, I'm not in love with guns. I used to be as a teenager, actually. I used to love guns, re be really into guns. Uh, not so much anymore. I still like shooting them. So I would say I like them, but I'm not really into them. Are you getting tired of answering questions? A bit. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Oh, you know it. You know it. Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? Yes. Do you always keep your promises? Nope. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? I don't trust anyone, no. Are you an only child? Definitely not. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I've never been drunk before in my life. Not a drop of alcohol has ever touched these lips. Do I like tattoos? I do like tattoos. I don't have any myself yet, but uh, I do. Do I enjoy being high in any form? I've never been high, so no. Do you believe you have a soul? I, I think so, yes. Do you, did, did, you, did you cry this week? I cry every day. Yes. Are you upset with someone right now? Yeah. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? That is a weird question. Um, not being completely honest with. I don't talk to anybody. Uh, no? Do you understand how this works yet? I think so, yes. If you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them, the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? Yes. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Yes. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe that? Not at all. Are you afraid of being abandoned? This motherfucking game knows me so well. <laughs> Yes. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? Yeah. Are you always on guard, waiting to fend off an attack? Yes. Do you feel like I know you yet? Yeah, yeah. It, it, this is actually pretty, pretty interesting, not gonna lie. Have you ever heard any strange noises while answering these questions? Not really. I think we've had enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Asshole. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. All right, here we go. I am, I'm honestly a bit nervous as to how this is gonna turn out, because. I feel like it's gonna call me out and I'm gonna have a moment. I'm gonna have a moment. <laughs> you can be very skeptical at times. You are not easily fooled and you're not easily manipulated. 
You're a lot smarter than people give you credit for, and a lot of this is due to situations from your past that you've managed to learn from, rather than choosing to be a victim and fall for the same tactics that others would fall for. You can truly be a guiding light to a lot of people. You can be an incredibly powerful figure in so many people's lives. This thing is just stroking my fucking ego. You don't even realize just how magnificent your gift is, do you? I thought, <laughs> I thought it was going to be calling me out or some shit. Now, oh, here we go. The biggest problem lies within. You don't have a bad heart. That's not necessarily the issue. The truth of the matter is, you don't always feel like everyone deserves to be helped, even if you want to help. Uh-huh. You need to be a bit more trusting and a bit more open-minded at times. You're afraid of being hurt. Even though others don't realize that, you're guard. You guard yourself and your emotions well at times, even if others don't even know just how much you've kept hidden away. You don't have to trust everyone. You don't have to necessarily trust anyone, but it would be a great benefit to yourself to give people a little bit more of a chance. You can really learn a lot. <laughs> what the fuck like uh, no like that's that's awesome this is very very motivating I, I i like it i like it overall you're a kind-hearted caring person inside people don't see you the way you truly are though they don't understand how dark your mind can be at times but you know you've got a very high probability of helping a lot of people provided you're willing to share yourself and your abilities freely open a bit open up a bit more you're going to bless a lot of people by sharing yourself more. I don't know about that, but I appreciate the kind words. Your secret word is gifted. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Take the secret word that was assigned you at the end of your session and leave it in the comment for us. We will be se selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid, this is an opportunity for you to post, to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be part of the upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of the comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments and leave. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we will read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. Wow. I, I'm i leaving my comment. Um, yeah, I'll leave that for them. That was really cool. I love that. I definitely felt like, I don't know, it, the game understood me towards the end. Uh, and I think you guys should check this out. It's on Steam. Link will be in the description. Please check this out. Leave, you know, your results in their comments uh, on the Steam page. Do it. This this was fun. I, I'm really glad I did this. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you did and a comment letting me know what you thought of the video. If you'd like to see more videos of mine in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video of mine. Take care. Bye for now.